Welcome to NGS, where we dive into my hobbies, such as playing cards. Today I have a very special deck from Theory 11. There's their emblem right there. This is the Rick and Morty deck. This is official. So, I've been wanting a Rick and Morty deck for a while now because I know Theory 11 can go above and beyond with their art and their colors and the way that they, you know, transcend playing cards. So as soon as they revealed that they were doing a Rick and Morty deck, I lost my mind. And this is what I will be showing you today. The tuck case is embossed, so all of these little knickknacks like the cards, the eyes, the hands, they are all raised. You have Rick and Morty, Pickle Rick over here in the corner, uh, Banana Rick, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have Theory 11 up top, and then the classic Rick and Morty font with the portal. With eyeballs, hands, tongues, playing cards coming out of it. Now we have this portal green outline here, and then all of these awesome colors and this folding corner bit right here, which is also raised. Onto the back, this is probably what the back of the cards are going to look like. In the back, we have a more closer view of the portal with everything flying out of it, including Rick and Morty with the portal gun. Like the alien Rick and an alien Morty here. Kind of reminds me of The Thing. If you've seen The Thing, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what that is a reference to. I'll leave a clip right here. And yes, it comes with a sticker. I love sealed stickers, and it's Pickle Rick inside a pickle jar with the Rick and Morty playing cards written on it. On this side we have Rick and Morty playing cards produced by Theory 11. And we have the same thing on the opposite side. The back just has Warner Brothers Adult Swim Theory 11. All the people involved in Rick and Morty. And the top is Let's Get Swifty. So let's crack into this bad boy right here. The inside is meant to look like outer space with eyeballs and planets. And that extends to the inside and here is the deck look at this look at this artwork it's the same that is advertised on the tuck case right here but I will say the only like nitpicking I would have for this deck is if you flip a card upside down you can tell it's upside down because of Rick being on one side and Morty being on the other but this deck is beautiful All right, let's look at the face cards. Uh, these are the diamonds. The diamonds are kind of like a window to the outer space that we see on the inside of the tuck case with the eyes and the planets. And the numbers seem like they were made by hand, like someone just haphazardly wrote these numbers, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got the Joker here, which is, of course, Jerry, our favorite man who's using the sock puppets to express himself in therapy. Ace of Spades, you got you have to have Rick and Morty. Look at that. Rick and Morty with the portal gun aimed right at you. And the spade is also a window. And if we look at the pips, they look like they're I, I guess worn out. They're not straight. They're not perfect, which is awesome. I really enjoy that. Now we have the Jack of Spades, which appears to be Morty. Wearing a crown. And then we have the Queen of Spades, which is Planet Tina, it looks like, from season four or five? I'm not sure. They, they all blur together. The best season is season three. And then we have Rick here with his crown and the portal gun. The Ace of Diamonds is the Meeseeks with a, a, golf, a, a golf club. Diamonds, like I said, are windows. All right, Jack of Diamonds is Morty again with the portal gun. Uh, the queen is Summer, Crying Summer. Uh, the king is Rick again. Uh, I didn't mention it, but all the kings have a little pocket pickle Rick in their pocket. The king of clubs is Rick again. Uh, the queen here is Jessica, uh, Morty's crush. We have here another Morty for Jack with a crown. The club is Windows again, looking pretty cool. The Ace of Clubs is Bird Person, or uh, he's now known as Phoenix Person. We got Rick again. Uh, this time we have Beth with her wine. And Morty again. 
The Ace of Hearts is Mr. Nimbus, Rick's arch enemy. And then we have a promo card here with Rick and Morty playing cards. Another promo here, Rick and Morty playing cards. And that's pretty much it. This deck is amazing. I'm glad it wasn't a limited edition or a limited run because these cards are ones I want to use and I wouldn't use them if they were, but knowing that they are available and will hopefully always be available, I gotta get them. These are the Rick and Morty playing cards by Theory11. If you haven't got these, you need to get them. If you're considering them, you should have already got them. I will leave a link down in the description below where you can get these from Theory11. Now, I love this deck. Just probably one of my top five decks to date. Let me know in the comments what you think. Oh, actually, no. Let me know down below what your favorite season of Rick and Morty is. I want to know if your favorite is season three or if you were wrong. Either way, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you right or back in the next video. You're dealing with the ghost. We are spitting facts, so don't mistake it with the boast.